Hello, thank you for tuning in. This is Connor here with Exploring Outdoor Rec and you are watching me on YouTube, okay? Now, there are approximately three reasons why you're watching this video right now. One, you are in the market for a tactical paddleboard. Great. Two, you are one of my subscribers. Three, it's 3 a.m. and you have lost all sense of reality and time. In that case, free your mind. Well, now what we've all been waiting for. Look what I got for y'all today. The Wave Storm Tactical Paddleboard. There's not much else I need to say. Now, I will be going through all the tacticalness of the paddleboard, but I also brought this non-tactical inflatable board for comparison. Now, let's get into it. All right, our first test here is a weight test, okay? First, let's see how much this one weighs. Okay. I can tell you from experience, that one weighs about 10 pounds, all right? Now, look closely on this one. You're like, where's the handle? Boom, tactical hidden handle. This one's a bit heavier, coming in around 20 pounds, maybe even 25. Okay, but I'll tell you why. This one, full of air. This one, full of tactical gear. All right? Now, before we get in the water, we need to run through all the tactical features so you can see just what I'm talking about. All right? We're not even gonna start with the paddle board. We're gonna start with the paddle itself. As you can see, pretty solid material, tactical metal right here. It's got the tactical adjustness, just like what we've been looking for, okay? Now, onto the paddle board. You see it? It's a hard shell, okay? It's not going anywhere. This is the first thing that stands out. Right here. Are you seeing that? Tactical fold-out chair, okay? You think I'm done with the fold-outs? No, I'm not, all right? Number one, tactical fold-up foot holder. Two of them. Sit down on your tactical paddle board. You got two tactical foot holders. A tactical chair, carry anything you need to do and do anything you need to want, all right? It's that easy. Let me tell you what this was made for. Number one, pure fun, okay? Number two, carrying cargo, okay? This thing's like a cargo ship. Check this out. Anything you need to carry, fishing pole right there, and you have these, you have these, tactical straps anything can fit in here for example even another paddle board all right now we're going in the water because obviously it's a tactical paddle board for the water now to show y'all what we're going to be doing we got a speedometer right here and now check us out screen record on it is recording and let's just get a quick lap. We'll be able to we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to figure it out, all right? From that. I'm just going to going to get on. We're going to keep the recording going and everything. And we're going to test between the tactical paddle board and the air board which one can get faster speed. All live recording, all right? So good about our speed with the tactical with the tactical one now we're gonna try the non-tactical paddle board real quick and just to prove that we're still going i'm gonna check class real quick
Wow, this base is rushed. All right, but we're still going, as you can see. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. All right, the last tactical feature that this paddleboard features is the tactical search and rescue feature, okay? Now, as long as you got a chain or a rope or something, you got a tow package over here. All right, tow package is set up just in case you need to uh, hit a search and rescue like I'm about to show you right here. The All right, that concludes the tactical showdown of the tactical wave storm hard paddleboard. Now, let's just throw it in the bed. Man, this thing don't fit at all. I'm an honest man, and to be honest, this thing's way too big to fit in any bed or sedan or truck or whatever. So bring your straps. And stay tuned for part two, where we make this the actual most tactical paddleboard in the world.